Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Ahmedabad Management Association, I extend a very warm welcome to each one of you present here this evening. Uh, Shri Raman Bhai Patel AMA Shrestha Shiksha Award 2021 and also for the felicitation of our beloved Mr. B. N. Dastur. So we are, as we know, we are here for uh, the teachers in our lives, right? And also uh, the jury has had a very difficult time selecting the best uh, two teachers to be awarded today and we have them with us here. So Benjamin Franklin said, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. Someone else said, what sculpture is to a block of marble, education is to a human soul. Someone else said, teaching is one profession that creates all other professions. And yet another person candle, it consumes itself to light the way for others. One teacher very interestingly said that if kids come to us from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job easier. If they do not come from strong, healthy, functioning families, it makes our job more important. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And we all know that when a teacher uplifts a student, she actually uplifts a whole family. So with that, I would like to invite President AMA, Mr. Divesh Radia, for the welcome address and to set the tone for the evening. I would also like to welcome Professor Prakash Chandra, our chief guest for this evening on the dais. And also Mr. Savan Godiawala, Vice President AMA on the dais. Divesh, sir, over to you. Namaste and good evening, everybody. Our chief guest, Professor Pankaj Chandra, <coughs> our AMA Vice President, uh, Dr. Savan Godiawala, the panel of judges, uh, Mr. Narendra Pandya, Dr. Kavita Sood, Dr. Jayesh Rawal, recipients of the awards, uh, that's Mr. Ramesh Pai Rawal and Ms. Suman Pandey, our invited guests, members of our governing council, invited guests, and ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you all to this, our annual function, uh, gracing the teachers, our annual uh, Raman Bhai Patel Shresh Shikshak Awards. And uh, this award is being given each year, is presented under the auspices of the Raman Bhai Patel AMS Center for Excellence in Education. This was set up in 2001 and was inaugurated by none other than His Excellency, the late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, our former president of India. This center was sponsored by Sri Pankaj Bhai Patel, chairman of the Zaidus Group, <coughs> sorry, in memory of his illustrious father, Sri late Raman Bhai Patel, a truly a multifaceted personality and his illustrious father, an academician, a first generation entrepreneur, an academician, a researcher, and one of the stalwarts of the Indian pharmaceutical industry, especially in Gujarat. And we have given you a handout, so more details about Raman Bhai Patel, our guest, and the recipients are there in that uh, uh, handout. This whole process, you know, of selecting it's a, it's a proper graded process, so I'm very thankful to the jury members for doing it. I was present in the last round, so it's a very proper classified structure by way the shortlist is being done, the interviews are being taken, and the selection is being. So I'm really thankful to the jury members for their wonderful work they've done. And these awards, as you know, will be presented by uh, Professor Pankaj Chandra, the Vice Chandra of Ahmedabad University, whom I'll just 
introduce. And it's truly nice to see this hall full. We were doubtful that because of the adverse weather, but uh, thank God, you know, the gods have listened to us and the weather is really clear and so people could attend in large numbers. Uh, in the lighter vein, I will say that though the Teacher's Day is on 5th September, but today is our Teacher's Day, and uh, not only the presentation of awards, but again we are felicitating uh, Mr. B. N. Dastur, who has dedicated his life to teaching and has been a you know, trainer for many years, whom I'll be talking about later also. So I'll just in, uh, briefly introduce Professor Pankaj Chandra. As I mentioned, he's the Vice Chancellor of the Ahmedabad University. He was the Director of the Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, from 2007 to 13, and Professor of Operations and Technology Management at the IIM Ahmedabad. He holds a B.Tech from the Benares Hindu University and a Ph.D. from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. He has been a full-time faculty at the McGill University and IIM Ahmedabad as a visiting professor at the University of Geneva, the Wharton School, International University of Japan, Cornell University, Ramon University, Beijing, and he was the first associate dean academic at the Indian School of Business at Hyderabad. Professor Chandra was a member of the Government of India Committee of Rejuvenation of Higher Education, popularly known as the Yashpal Committee, that relooked at the Indian higher education system as well as the Committee on Autonomy of Central Institutions. He has served on many industry committees of Government of India, and he has been a member of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRI, and he is also a governing council member of AMA. But today is our guest. Let's say he is part of AMA, but today is our guest. Uh, <laughs> Professor Chandra's teaching and interest include manufacturing management, supply chain coordination, building technological capabilities, innovation in high-tech industries, and higher education policy. His recent book titled, Building Universities uh, That Matter, <coughs> studies issues of governance, change, and institution building in Indian universities. He serves on boards of several firms and institutions. Those in Ahmedabad know that how he has really built up the Ahmedabad University uh, and what you know shape is in today one of the finest institutions so without taking much of your time I'll welcome Pankaj Chandra uh, with a bouquet please Now this felicitation, eh, George. So, I request Mr. Thompson to carry on the further uh, part of the proceedings. That's felicitation of our jury members. Over to you. I would uh, request uh, Professor Pankaj Chandra to uh, for felicitating our jury member, Mr. Narendra Pandya, author and senior faculty member. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I will now uh, invite uh, Vice President AMA, Mr. Savan Godiawala, to felicitate Dr. Kavita Sharma, Principal JG International School. Thank you, sir. I will now request uh, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, Secretary AMA, to welcome Dr. Jayesh Rawal, Director, the CN Angreji Kendra.
Thank you, sir. Now uh, we will watch a short film on Shreshtha Shikshak Award 2021. गुरूर ब्रह्मा गुरूर विष्णु गुरूर देवो महेश्वरा गुरूर ब्रह्मा गुरूर विष्णु गुरूर देवो महेश्वरा गुरूर साक्षात Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Guru Re Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Teachers are the architects for our future. Building a foundation of knowledge, values and skills that will empower generations to come. They possess the unique ability to unlock the doors of opportunity and instill a love for learning with their students. Teachers are not confined to the boundaries of a classroom. They are mentors, motivators, and lifelong influencers. Ms. Suman Pandey is a principal at Navavanjar Primary School, Sarkhej. She pursued her graduation from LD Arts College and completed her B.A. from MN Shukla College. She went on to pursuing her MED under Gujarat University. She started her career as a lecturer at JG College of Primary Education and went on to serve as the principal in the same institute. She was inspired to help the underprivileged children, so she became the principal of Nava Vanjar Government School, where she is currently serving. So, technique of giving examples and obviously the latest technology smart classrooms we have so we are using that we are teaching the children uh, to be interacted to be interactive with technology to make uh, videos and uh, presentations and we teach them through that also open book quiz helps me in one other way that the children go through each and every line of the textbook because i prepare questions from each and every line so in indirectly what i want them to do comes in the classroom that they go through each and every line of the textbook and eventually the whole chapter is read by them in front of me only. Boring lecture thi baar ko na yad na re, eh, madam jhane chhe. Etla maate koi pan nava navi activity hoi subject ne lagti. To jema baarak pote active re, jem ke khali sambaru e eh, jaruri na thi. Baarak pravruti shil re, eh maate eh, judi judi pravruti kare chhe. Suman Ben, as a colleague, we work with us very much. We have a lot of new things that we have done with us. We have a lot of new things that we have done with us. And we have a lot of new things that we have done with us. My parents have told me this advice to teach their children that in luxury, you can grow up in your life. And give them the opportunity to face their challenges and solve themselves. Don't be available for them every time. Let them tackle their situations on their own. Today's generation is sharp, intelligent, and uh, motivated. They are free from superstitious beliefs. They want to be with the recent trends. They are updated. But only message I would like to give to today's generation is be adaptable to changes and consider yourself as unique. Don't try to compare yourself with others. There are diverse professions today. You can accommodate yourself in any one of them, but you have to be the master of that thing. And stay away from drugs, alcohol, and bad habits. Ramesh Bhai Bharad sir is a reputed teacher at the Kumban Central School in Mahua. He completed his education at Sanosra Lok Bharti Vidyapit. He started his career at the Mota Kutoda Central School in 2004 and then joined Kumban Central School as a principal in 2008, where he is currently serving as a teacher. I am a teacher of the Ambination of the children. I am a teacher of the children. 
એટલે મેં શિક્ષણ પસંદ કર્યું કારણ કે જે શિક્ષણનો જે કારકિર્દીનો કોઈ પણ વ્યક્તિનો પાયો હોય છે એ શિક્ષણ છે શિક્ષણથી સમાજ સુધારાનું કામ ઝડપથી થઈ શકે છે તો કોઈ પણ બાળકને શરૂઆત કરવી હોય તો એના માટે તેને ઉત્તમ શિક્ષણ કેવી રીતે આપી શકાય એની એક વિકાસ યાત્રા મારા મગજમાં હતી ખાસ કરીને તો ગીજુભાઈ બધેકા અને મોન્તેસરી શિક્ષણના જે સિદ્ધાંતો છે કે સ્વતંત્રતાનું શિક્ષણ નિયમનનું શિક્ષણ એવા બધા એના જે સિદ્ધાંતો છે એની સાથે સાથે મેં વર્તમાન કાળમાં જે ઉપયોગી છે કે બાળકને ખૂબ સ્વતંત્ર રહેવું ગમે છે એના માટે તેને મુક્ત વાતાવરણ જોઈએ છે તો એ બાળક એ ખૂબ હસતું ખેલતું આ સ્કૂલમાં આવે આપણી અપેક્ષાઓ છે બાળકોને લગાડવાની નથી પણ બાળક છે આનંદથી ભણે એ માટે મેં એક નવી જ પદ્ધતિ અપનાવી છે કે રમકડા દ્વારા શિક્ષણ મેં મારા જાતે બનાવેલા બે હજાર જેટલા શૈક્ષણિક રમકડા છે એ બાળકોને હું મારી રીતે એને રમાડું છું તો એ રમકડા એવા છે કે એમાંથી એને ભણવાનું પણ મળે છે આનંદ પણ મળે છે અને કંઈક અલગ આઈડિયાથી એ પોતે બાળક ભણી રહ્યો છે અને એ આટલું બધું સરળ છે શિક્ષણને સરળ બનાવવાની આ મારી એક વિકાસ યાત્રા છે બે હજાર અઢારમાં હું અહીંયા આચાર્ય તરીકે આવ્યો એ પહેલાં આ શાળાના આચાર્ય તરીકે છે તેઓ રમેશભાઈ ચાર્જમાં હતા અને તેઓ લગભગ આઠ દસ વર્ષ સુધી આ શાળામાં આચાર્ય તરીકે તેઓએ ફરજ બજાવી છે અને હું આચાર્ય તરીકે આવ્યા બાદ રમેશભાઈનું કાર્ય છે એમનું શિક્ષણ તારીખ તરીકે કરતા હતા અને ખૂબ સરસ એમને ઘણા બધા એવોર્ડ પણ અહીંના તાલુકા લેવલના જિલ્લા લેવલના અને રાજ્ય લેવલના મળ્યા છે રમેશ સાહેબોનું ટીચિંગ બધા કરતાં થોડુંક યુનિક એટલા માટે છે કે ખાસ તો એની પોતાની બોલતી દિવાલ બનાવી છે ટીચિંગમાં તેને એટલો ફેરફાર થઈ છે રમેશ સાહેબનો કે એને એવા અદભુત રમકડા બનાવ્યા છે કે બાળક બાળકોની વય કક્ષા પ્રમાણે એને રમવા માટે આપેલા છે જેથી બાળકોને કઈ કઈ પદ્ધતિથી રમાડવું કોરોના કાળમાં એની જે પદ્ધતિ શરૂ કરેલી છે બાળકોના ટીચિંગમાં એ ખૂબ અદભુત છે રમેશભાઈનો સૌમ્ય અને આનંદી સ્વભાવ એ બાળકોને ખાસ આકર્ષે છે અને એ છોકરાઓ પાસે એના સજાથી કામ લેવું એવી રીતે નહીં પણ મજાથી કેમ કામ લેવું એ રીતે એ વિચારે છે અને એ કરી બતાવે છે અને કામથી દેખાડે છે એને ભણાવતું ભણાવવા માટેની પૂર્વ તૈયારી એના માટે જે કંઈ રમકડાં તૈયાર કરવા કે સાધનો તૈયાર કરવા એ બનાવવું અને પછી એક મજાની આનંદી શૈલીથી બાળકોમાં પ્રસ્તુત થવું એના લીધે એક બાળકોમાં એક અલગ છાપ ને એક જિજ્ઞાસા જગાડે છે બાળકોને સારા સારા પુસ્તકો વાંચે કે એવા પુસ્તકો વાંચે કે તે પોતે સેલ્ફ ડેવલપમેન્ટ કરી શકે પોતાનો કોન્ફિડન્સ વધારી શકે એવા મોટિવેશનલ પુસ્તકો વાંચીને પોતે પોતાની જાતને એ આગળ પડતી વધારી શકે છે ધી રમનભાઈ પટેલ એમ એસ શ્રેષ્ઠ શિક્ષક એવોર્ડ વોઝ ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુટેડ ઇન ધ યર ટુ થાઉઝન્ડ થ્રી બાય રમનભાઈ પટેલ એમ એ સેન્ટર ફોર એક્સલન્સ ઇન એજ્યુકેશન એટ એમ એ ધી એવોર્ડ ઇઝ ગિવન to a teacher whose contribution in teaching and developing the students is outstanding the raman bhai patel ama center for excellence in education is a tribute to his quest for knowledge and the desire to contribute to the cause of education the center acts as a catalyst generating new ideas and thoughts to raise the bars of excellence in the field of education i would now like to welcome our chief guest professor pankaj chandra to address the august gathering so please well thank you very much for inviting me to come and speak but first and foremost aapko bahut bahut badhai congratulations for this amazing award and i'm going to come and visit both your schools i would love to learn a few things from what you're doing this so impressive i must say that um i also have to say why this contribution is special you know because i think you are teachers and in my mind teachers are very special teachers are very special because they build lives of young people um when i read um the um the write up on both of you i felt you exhibited empathy you were very caring that picture shows that you exhibited commitment i was just told that you left the principal ship to go become a teacher that's actually absolutely amazing commitment 
you showed persistence, all right, from going into a very primary school to becoming, um, becoming a leader in that school. And also you showed innovation. Uh, and, and I think teachers represent, and you represent leaders in this society who help young people navigate their lives. So, aapko bahut bahut badai. Since this is uh, AMA and a bunch of people from industry, I thought I should talk to you about role of education in 21st century citizenship. And what does it mean for the world of business? Um, so I want to talk about three things. Um, what is the purpose of education? Why does the society want its people to be educated? There's no reason for people to be educated. They, should, they can always remain uneducated, right? But the society wants its citizens to be educated. And my question is why? And, and why does this society need, need our teachers? So that's one point I want to talk about. The second is, um, how does a society transit from one mindset, one way of thinking to another, which is also a role of, a, of an educator or an educational institution in quite some ways. And as our, uh, the world is transiting, the society is transiting, what is the role that institutions play? And third is, in this process, what is the role of a teacher? So I, I want to talk about these three things. So let me get to the first and talk to you about, um, uh, about teachers. There's general impression in our times that, as I think one of you mentioned, success is measured by money and not by learning and not by wisdom. And that success is correlated, is not, sorry, is not correlated with quality education. Often at times you'll hear people say, but so and so, look at him, does very well financially and not educated. Um, so let me first address this issue because it's very critical um, to understand what is the purpose of education. And in my mind, there are four broad purposes of education. Okay, the first is to make a citizen for a nation. And I'll come and talk a little bit about it. That's the most important task of an educational institution or the purpose of education. The second is to build a love for lifelong learning. And whatever it might be, it needn't be in a discipline, but a love for learning. And the third is actually about livelihood. It's very critical that education provides an opportunity for a livelihood. But the fourth one is very difficult. It's a difficult purpose. And I want to mention this in lines of a, of a poet called Nida Fazli, who says, Jin chiragon ko hawaon ka koi khauf nahi, Jin chiragon ko hawaon ka koi khauf nahi, Un chiragon ko hawaon se bachaya jaye. And in today's environment, um, not in India but around the world, I think teachers have a very different role to play and educational institutions have a very different role to play to help young people find themselves. And there are many questions related to that. What kind of a citizen does a society want? Education is a public good. When I get educated, others benefit. I benefit also, but others benefit. Similarly, when others get educated, I benefit. And hence, it's very critical that the society desires. But the question is, what does an academic institution, a school, or a college, or university teach? Most people think it should teach skills. In today's environment, there's this whole environment, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. It says it should teach skills. It should teach what the industry needs. 
It should teach what the society needs. But the role of, of a school, of a college, is to help young people discover themselves. For them to find out who they are, what is it that they want to do, and what it is that they should do when they go out. How should be their response to the larger society? And this is about learning to ask the right question. And once you learn to ask the right question, you will learn to be able to actually change the world. Um, a week ago, I received an email from a, from a mother of one of our students. And she was very happy about many things, and then she was very unhappy about some things. And which is, which is very normal. I mean, it's, it's normal to do that. But one of the happiness was, oh, your institution discusses things which goes against the belief of our family. And actually, I, I, I actually call this person up and say, well, I'd love to meet with you and have a conversation. But that's the purpose of education. The purpose of education is to make you uncomfortable. It's not to be able to tell you do this or do that, but to make you think very differently and make you uncomfortable. E education that doesn't make you uncomfortable is actually no education at all. And which is about asking questions. When you ask questions, some things will support your belief and some things will question your belief. And this is true for all of us. And that's, in my mind, a key purpose of education. So education is more than skills. It's also more than knowledge. It's, it's about discovery um, of one's own thinking. So the next question then is, um, how does a society transit from one mindset and one generation to another. Okay. I mean, it's a, this, is, this is part and parcel of a dynamic society, that it moves. Young people become old, and they take space, and then new young people come, new beliefs come, new way of thinking comes. How does a society manage this transition? And I think, you know, as an example, um, this is a city which is actually moving tremendously from a very transaction-driven trading society and mindset to a very service manufacturing strategic mindset. And, and one asks a question, what, does, what, what makes this transition? And my, my belief is that it is innovation. Um, innovation and a, way, a new way of, of doing things, new way of thinking, is what makes us transit from one mindset to another mindset. Now, innovation needs R&D. In the parlance of all the business folks sitting out here. And R&D, or research and development, needs deep capabilities. Right? Absorptive capability, ability to absorb, understand. Innovative capability, ab ability to change things. Translational capabilities, ability to produce something, a copy which is much better than the original. Those are very many innovative ways in which one builds capabilities. And we must ask these questions, a difficult question. I'm an academic, so I hope you'll permit me to ask difficult questions here. What fraction of firms in Gujarat have built deep capabilities that lead India or the world? Okay? And but more than that, those that have developed, and there are many that have developed, those that have developed, how did they go about doing that? How have they built these capabilities? And, and if you actually look at it invariably, you will find a few things. There's a founder or a next generation or a set of employees who have built deep expertise in things. So that's number one. Number two, they built deep networks with skilled people who have, again, expertise all over the world. And third, they've invested in R&D and innovation. So they value innovation as a mechanism for building capabilities. India invests 0.7% of its GDP 
in, um, in R&D, which is very low. Um, global average is somewhere around 1.8 to 2 percent. Uh, and most of this R&D is done by government institutions. Now, if we don't do R&D, um, how do we found, find solutions to various problems in this society? And you can see R&D in any which way. R&D can be developing a product, can be developing a different mindset, developing curiosity to do new things, to develop new processes, to develop managerial capabilities, to develop a new business model. All of that falls within this realm of innovation and R&D. Now, there's generally a tendency these days to decry um, conceptual or theoretical knowledge and substitute it with practical knowledge. I think they're complements of each other, not substitutes. Because to solve very complex problems, you need to understand, have deep knowledge about certain things before you can go and translate. Otherwise, we'll all become producers of drones through packages rather than developing that technology ourselves. And if you really think about it, you know, uh, look at our bridges that collapse, look at the trains that collide. There are very many reasons, ranging from poor ethics to poor execution, but most importantly, poor applications of science and technology. And this is really where academic institutions are at their best. Basic science and basic science research is done in academic institutions. Rarely do they get done in industry or elsewhere. They do translation and innovate tremendously to add value to basic science, which is done in academic institutions. So I'm, I'm kind of moving the clock of transition to, to this one small dot of learning and teaching and research of basic science and technology in a society. At a time when science is the new theory of development, Gujarat ranks lowest in the lowest quartile on science education. The enrollment in science is the lowest in, amongst, in India, amongst all states in the four states which includes Gujarat. Engineering education is in phenomenal decline, you know. Students who take commerce and management don't do math after class 10th. And in this day and age in business, and I, and I think people sitting here and elsewhere would know that without data and without drawing insight from data, there's very little that you could do in terms of building capabilities of transiting a society into another level. And how would such young people lead society when they don't have these very fundamental capabilities? So it's very critical for all of us to understand. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not promoting myself. But I think science is the new theory of development. Technology is the new theory of development. And we must engage with, with those who build, who teach science, and who teach, um, teach uh, do research in that. Look at Bangalore. You know, why is it that um, you will see very large number of biotech startups coming in Bangalore? Why is it that large number of chip design and other, um, uh, other kind of startups happen there? Why is it that a large number of data-centered, um, data science-centered startups are happening in Bangalore. Um, you know, there's one key, in, key reason, and that's an institution called Indian Institute of Science. If you do just a back of the envelope calculation, um, Indian Institute of Science contributes, in addition to generating skilled people for the larger society, it contributes close to 3,000 crores. It does 3,000 crores of commerce with the city of Bangalore. So people, um, there are almost a few thousand people who work in uh, Indian Institute of Science. They buy homes, they buy 
um, services, they buy goods, um, they buy equipment, um, and so on and so forth. And it's that quantum. So academic institutions play a very massive role in terms of regional growth. And if you don't have such academic institution, regional growth gets stunted and it, it moves very differently. Which brings me to the last point. What is the role of teachers within this frame? There's a lot of evidence globally um, that schools play the most important role when it comes to building of citizens in a nation. And there's a very interesting um, research that came out which says class two is actually the most critical stage. Because the skills that you pick up at class two, um, if you don't, um, if you have deficits at that stage, it's very difficult to bridge those deficits going up. Um, so the role of, of teachers is very critical. Uh, most parents, I'm sorry to say this, are concerned very much about which institution will the kid get into. And when they get out, what is it, what kind of a job and what kind of salary structure that they have. But what happens within this box in a school for 12 years or in a higher educational institution for three to four years, most parents don't care. They don't care whether the kid is learning critical thinking whether they are becoming independent-minded, whether they are building biases or not, whether they are able to build expertise on which their, their life will pursue. And I think parents should be more concerned about what happens, what kind of capabilities get, get built in these institutions, what kind of mindsets um, happen, because it's here that you make citizens of tomorrow. So it's very critical that we we look at it, um, and the power of good and good institution and good teachers like you is just unimaginable and unimaginably high. So I hope AMA and all of us will take these steps to forge the kind of partnerships that are needed to actually build these capabilities in our institutions. And congratulations once again for this amazing achievement today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Chandra, for a very, very thought-provoking, insightful, and inspiring address. We now move to the award ceremony. So for the Shreshta Shiksha Award 2021 presentation, uh, first, I would like to invite Ms. Suman Abhay Pandey, ma'am, and I will be reading out the citation. I'll be reading out the citation. Sri Raman Bhai Patel, AMA Center for Excellence in Education, has great pleasure in bestowing the Sri Raman Bhai Patel AMA Shreshta Shikshak Award for the year 2021 to Miss Suman Abhay Pandey, Nava Wanzar Primary School, Sarkhej, Ahmedabad, for the remarkable contributions made by her emphasis on organizing skill-based activities, project work, facilitating exposure visits, craft work, and drama, and creating avenues for students to showcase their creativity and innovation by fostering an environment conducive for, to their holistic development. Ma'am.
Thank you, ma'am. Now I invite upon stage Shri Ramesh Bhai Danji Bhai Barad. Sir, please. I will read the citation. Shri Raman Bhai Patel Center, AMA Center for Excellence in Education, has great pleasure in bestowing the Shri Raman Bhai Patel AMA Shrestha Shikshak Award for the year 2021 to Mr. Ramesh Bhai Danji Bhai Barad, Kumban Kendravarti Shala Maua, for his innovative teaching methods and unwavering dedication by developing over 2,000 educational games meticulously tailored to enrich his students' comprehension and retention of diverse subjects, along with his tireless efforts to create an enjoyable and interactive learning environment, coupled with his commitment to the success of his students, distinguish him as an outstanding educator. Now I would like to uh, invite uh, President AMA to talk about uh, Mr. B. N. Dastur. Thank you, Thompson. As I said, uh, today is a teacher's day. Besides our recipients of the awards, a very important thing uh, is very something dear to our heart. We'll be felicitating Professor B. N. Dastur, whom I'll just very briefly introduce. Mr. B.N. Dastur is a management and a marketing consultant and a trainer with over 40 years of international experience. He is a regular columnist with reputed newspapers and an author of more than 120 books. <laughs> many, many of them, uh, you know, have been published by AMA. Sahib, may tamari lagbag. Chalisek book to Machi se, being an MA member. <laughs> These books are on management, marketing, self development, humor, Sufism, athletics, healthcare, and motoring. Such a diverse topics, you know. So <laughs> he is also the editor of Medicraft and Revolution in Management. He is the recipient of merit awards from Stanford University, USA, Arizona State University, Association of Business Communicators of India, and Gujarati Sahitya Parishad. Ahmedabad Management Association has been fortunate to have him as a trainer for over the years, in which he has done a great service to the society and the fraternity of management. Thousands of persons across many age groups have taken benefit of Mr. Dastu's training. Many of them are here today. Uh, during his numerous evening talks, workshops, and sessions during the learners' forums, even during the students' learners' forum. You know, AMA organizes in the summer vacations, you know, workshops for children, you know, for different age groups. So it's very popular. It's very interesting that even this time, these uh, students, you know, have very popular, his workshops had very big attendance. And so that as I, he trains across age groups. He is 90 years old, friends. <laughs> and he can train across different age groups and even the children. So you can imagine how versatile his mind and his method moving with the times, you know. And a wonderful and very important and emotional announcement I'm making today. As I said, many people have taken benefit of his uh, coaching. 
as a mark of respect and as a token of their love and affection, Mr. B and the two students have decided to dedicate the Learners Forum at AMA. You know, there's a monthly Learners Forum. So month, dedicate the Learners Forum at AMA to Mr. B and Dastur. And henceforth, the name will, will be now known as the B and Dastur AMA Learners Forum. <laughs> Collectively, they have donated rupees 15 lakhs today. And this is in the true spirit of a shishya inspired by the guru, guru's training, that they want their names to be anonymous. So a big round of applause to this <laughs> wonderful cause today. And this humble gesture was coordinated by, you know, our GC member, Mr. Uh, Thompson here, and he's also the regional head of the HDFC Bank in Gujarat. And today, the Stu Sahib's latest book, that's Bhagavad Gita decoded will also be released today. So we really are very grateful. It's a big day for the teachers today. So I think Thompson, you can. Uh, First, will be the celestration and then book of this. Yeah, celestration. Yeah. Please, you, you can please. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's indeed a privilege and honor for me, your own student, way back in 1994, to be reading your citation. Uh, first of all, I'd sir, like to welcome you for the felicitation, yeah. Professor Chandra. Yeah. I'd like to read out the citation. Presented to Mr. B. N. Dasur for his outstanding contribution to AMA over the past four decades. We commend your long standing commitment to AMA, exemplifying excellence and a genuine passion for nurturing and empowering students, youth, and professionals. Your tailored programs have provided valuable knowledge, guidance, and inspiration, shaping countless lives and fostering a culture of continuous learning. As an accomplished author, your books published by AMA have enriched the literary landscape and served as invaluable resources for aspiring students and professionals. Your profound insights and unwavering commitment to disseminating knowledge have empowered individuals to achieve their full potential. We express our deepest gratitude for your exceptional contributions, elevating AMA to new heights as a beacon of knowledge and growth. Your unwavering commitment and expertise have not only strengthened the foundation of AMA, but have also inspired generation of learners and professionals. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor B. and Jessica. Request uh, the sir to please address the August gathering. They would love to hear you, sir. Good evening to you. 
આપણે બધા સરસ્વતીના મંદિરમાં છીએ એટલે સાચી વાત રજૂ કરવી જોઈએ એવું મને લાગે છે આઈ એમ અ વેરી વેરી મોડેસ્ટ પર્સન આઈ એમ સો મચ મોડેસ્ટ દેટ આઈ એમ પ્રાઉડ ઓફ માય મોડેસ્ટી એન્ડ એન્ડ વેન આઈ લર્ન ધ આઈ એમ સપોઝ ટુ બી ઇન ટુ ઇન્ડ્યુડેડ કોમર્સ ઓનર્ડ ઇન ઓલ માય મોડેસ્ટી આઈ સેન્ડ અબાઉટ ફાઈવ હન્ડ્રેડ વોટ્સએપ્સ ટુ માય ફ્રેન્ડ્સ એટસેટ્રા એટસેટ્રા આઈ ડોન્ટ નો વાય બટ મોસ્ટ ઓફ ધેમ એટલે અબાઉટ સેવન્ટી પર્સન્ટ ઓફ ધેમ કોટેડ વન પ્રોવર્બ નસીબ બલવાન તો ગધા પહેલવાન એકચુઅલી માય ફ્રેન્ડ આર શોક્ડ માય ફેમિલી ઓલ્સો ઇઝ સરપ્રાઇઝ ધ બિઝનેસ આઈકોન્સ આર સ્ટન્ડ કે વોટ ઇઝ વોટ ઇઝ હેપનિંગ યર ધ પ્રૂફ ઓફ ધ મેટર ઇઝ દેટ એટ અ વેરી અર્લી એજ આઈ હેડ અ બ્રેઇન ઇન્જરી જન્મે એને બે જ દિવસ થયા હતા અને એક પતંગીઓ આવીને મારા માથા પર અથડાઈ ગયું અને તે વખતે એવરીબડી વોઝ ઇટ્સ ઓકે ઇનફેક્ટ માય મધર પ્રેડિક્ટેડ કે આ પતંગિયાને એટ્રેક કરે છે ને એટલે આ છોકરો મોટો થઈને બધા ઘણા બધા પતંગિયાને એટ્રેક કરશે શી વોઝ નોટ ડિસેપોઈન્ટેડ એ એ અલગ વાત છે બરાબર પણ ધ હોલ મેટર ઇઝ કે વેન આઈ સ્ટાર્ટેડ ગોઈંગ ટુ સ્કૂલ આઈ વોઝ નોટ એઝ બ્રિલિયન્ટ એઝ માય બ્રધર્સ એન્ડ સિસ્ટર ઇનફેક્ટ ધ ટીચર્સ હેઝ કોલ્ડ મી ડોબો ડોબો યુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ઇટ્સ ઇઝ સમથિંગ ઇન ઇટ્સ અ સુરતી થિંગ રાઈટ માય ફાધર સે લેટ ઇઝ એક્ઝામ ઇન વોટ ઇઝ હેપન સો ઇન નવસારી એક ડાક્ટર હતા એ ગાંડાના ડાક્ટર કહેવા હતા આજે સાયકિયાટ્રિસ્ટ કહેવાય છે એ બધું હરખું જ છે એમને એવું શોધી કાઢ્યું કે મને એક બહુ રેર ડિસીઝ થયો છે ખૂબ રેર ડિસીઝ ઇટ ઇઝ કોલ્ડ સિમેટ્રી સિન્ડોમ એટલે કબ્રસ્તાનની બીમારી એમાં દિમાગ છે ને એ કબ્રસ્તાન જેવું થઈ જાય જે અંદર છે ને એ બહાર આવે નહીં અને જે બહાર છે એને અંદર જવા ગમે નહીં આ પછી ખબર નહીં શું થયું આગળ ચાલતા ચાલતા હું ફાર્માસ્યુટિકલમાં ગયો અને બધા ઘણા બધા ડાક્ટરોનો સંપર્કમાં આવ્યો એમાં એક ડાક્ટર અહીંયા ક્યાંક હશે પણ ખરા હું એ ડાક્ટરે મારો સ્કેન કર્યો અને શોધી કાઢ્યું કે કબ્રસ્તાનની બીમારી તો છે જ એ ઉપરાંત બીજી બીમારી છે ઇટ ઇઝ કોલ્ડ ડિફેક્ટિવ પેરેશ્યુટ સિન્ડ્રોમ એની અંદર દિમાગ છે ને ડિફેક્ટિવ પેરેશ્યુટ જેવું થઈ જાય જ્યારે જરૂર પડે ને ત્યારે ખુલે નહીં ધી ધ હોલ પોઈન્ટ ઇઝ કે આ બધા બિઝનેસ ટાઈકોન્સ છે બધા ઘણા અહીંયા બધા હાજર પણ હશે ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ પંકજ પટેલ સાહેબ અમારા સાયન્ટિસ્ટના અથવા અમારા કેપ્ટર હેલ્થ કેરના વાલા સાહેબ સુશિયલ મેમના મોટા સાહેબ છે બધા એ બધા એ લોકો એમ કહે છે કે અમને આજકાલ મેનેજરો સારા મળતા નથી અને એને માટે સમનાવ એ લોકોને ફિલિંગ એવી છે કે મારી ચાલીસ વર્ષનું એસોસિએશન એ એમ એ સાથે છે એ જવાબદાર છે એવું લોકોના મગજમાં ઘૂસી ગયું છે એન્ડ દેટ ઇઝ વાય એન્ડ દેટ ઇઝ વાય પ્લીઝ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ દિસ કે મને આ બધું છે ને આ લોકો ઊભા થાય છે અને કે લોકો તાલીઓ પાડે છે એમાં હજી પણ મારા મગજમાં જતું નથી કે શું થઈ રહ્યું છે કે ખબર જ નથી પડતી ફલો પણ એક વસ્તુ આપણે જાણવાની જરૂર છે કે જ્યારે તમારા દુશ્મનો તમારા માટે કંઈ કહેતા હોય ને એ સાચું કહેતા હોય છે એટલે બધા જે મારા દુશ્મનો છે ને એ લોકો એક કેમ્પેઇન ચલાવી કે આ એવોર્ડ આપીને એ એના બહુ કાઇન્ડ હાર્ટેડ લોકો એમ કહેવા માગે છે કે ડોહા હવે બહુ થયું ઘરે જાઓ અને હું માનું છું તેમ હું માનું છું તેમ સાચું તો છે જ પણ હું એમ સહેલાઈથી જાઉં એમ નથી રાઈટ હવે એક જ્યારે બધું આવું થાય ને જ્યારે મારા પર ઘણી મુશ્કેલી આવે ને 
ત્યારે મારી પાસે એક બહુ મોટા માણસ છે એમનું નામ શ્રી કે વી યાદવ ડૉક્ટરેટ છે એમની પાસે ત્રણ ડિગ્રી છે પીએચડી ત્રણ કરી છે એક પોલિટિકલ સાયન્સમાં કરી છે એક મેનેજમેન્ટમાં કરી છે એક સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલિઝમમાં કરી છે એ ડૉક્ટર યાદવને એક ચોપડી પણ લખી છે એનું નામ શ્રીમદ ભગવદ્ ગીતા ચોપડી પર એમને કે વી યાદવ નથી લખ્યું શ્રી કૃષ્ણ લખ્યું છે કોઈ કિશન મહારાજ કહે છે બરાબર એમની જે ચોપડી લખી છે એની અંદર મને સોલેસ મળે છે સારામાં સારી વાત તો એ છે કે એ ચોપડીની અંદર ઘણી બધી વસ્તુઓ એવી છે કે આજનું મોડર્ન મેનેજમેન્ટ સાયન્સ કહે છે ટુડે વી આર લિવિંગ ઇન એન એન્વાયરમેન્ટ ઓફ એ એન વાય એની વિચ મીન્સ એનીબડી કેન કમ એની ટાઈમ ફ્રોમ એની પ્લેસ એન્ડ કટ યોર થ્રોટ એની વે એન્ડ ઇન ધીસ એન્વાયરમેન્ટ ધેર લોટ્સ ઓફ થિંગ્સ દેટ હેપન વિચ ઇઝ નોટ અંડર યોર કંટ્રોલ એટલા માટે કિશન મહારાજે કહી દીધું કે કર્મણીય વાધિકાર હસ્તે મા ફલે શું કદાચ ને તારો અધિકાર ફક્ત કામ કરવાનો છે ફળની આસક્તિ રાખવા જઈએ ને તો ખસી જાય ડિપ્રેશન આવી જાય સ્ટ્રેસ આવી જાય એમને આસક્તિ શબ્દ પર એટલો બધો પ્રેમ છે કે પહેલાં ત્રણ ચેપ્ટરમાં તેર વખત આસક્તિ શબ્દ એમને વાપર્યો છે ફલો એ કરવા જેવું નથી પણ લોકો એમ કહે છે કે બધું જાત જાતના ડિપ્રેશન થઈ જાય છે તો એને માટે પણ એમ કીધું છે કે તમારે સ્થિતપ્રદ્ધ રહેવાનું હીટ કોલ્ડ દુઃખ સુખ માન અપમાન બધામાં તમારે સમ રહેવાનું આવા બધા જાત જાતના એમને ફંડા કર્યા છે જે આજે પણ કામ આવે છે મારે ચોપડી રિલીઝ થવાની છે બરાબર એનો આનંદ છે કારણ કે કૃષ્ણ ભગવાને લખ્યું છે પોતે એમને પ્રોમિસ આપ્યું છે કે જે કોઈ મારો સંદેશો ગીતાનો સંદેશો લોકોમાં ફેલાવશે એ મને બહુ વહાલો લાગશે બરાબર એટલે એ મારો સ્વાર્થ છે હું અમેરિકા હતો ત્યારે કેનેડાના એક મારા ફ્રેન્ડ છે એમને મને એવું કહ્યું કે આપણે ગીતાની ઉપર કંઈક એવી ચોપડી લખીએ કે જે સામાન્ય માણસને પણ સમજાય મેં આગળ ચાર તો લખી નાખી છે પણ એને કંઈ મને જુદી રીતે લખવા કીધું અને મને ઓફર કરી કે હું તને એક હજાર અમેરિકન ડોલર આપવા તૈયાર છું હવે આટલા બધા પૈસાનું શું કરવું એ મને બ્રાહ્મણને ખબર પડતી નથી એટલે મેં કીધું કે યાર મને નહીં હાલવાના કેલિફોર્નિયામાં કેપ કુપર્ટીનામાં એક હોમલેસ માણસો માટેનો એનજીઓ છે જ્યાં મારી ડોટર ઇન લો કામ કરે છે મેં કહ્યું તારે એને આપી દેવાના વિચારો તૈયાર થઈ ગયો સારા નસીબે આપ્યા મારો દીકરો ઇન્ટેલમાં છે તો ઇન્ટેલે એવું કીધું કે અમે પણ હજાર રૂપિયા આપીએ છીએ તો હજાર ડોલર બીજા ઇન્ટેલની અંદર એડ કર્યા અને ઉપર ને કે ચમત્કાર થયો હોય ને પહેલાં એનજીઓની પાસે બે હજાર ડોલર પહોંચી ગયા હું પંડ્યાનો આભાર માનું છું હું ઇન્ટેલનો પણ આભાર માનું છું બીજું જ્યારે કંઈ પણ લખવાનું હોય ત્યારે ડેટા એન્ટ્રી કરવી પડતી હોય છે એની ડિઝાઇન કરવી પડતી હોય છે અહીંયા બે મનોજ બેઠા છે એક સિનિયર મનોજ છે બીજો જુનિયર મનોજ છે સિનિયર મેનોજ ડેટા એન્ટ્રી કરે છે અને જે જુનિયર મનોજ છે એ ડિઝાઇન કરે છે એ બંનેનો પણ આભાર માનું છું અહીંયા હાજર નથી એવા ડૉક્ટર નીલેશ સૂચક એ છેલ્લી ઘડીએ મારી ચોપડી વાંચીને એમાંથી બધા પૂરા કાઢતા હોય છે તો મને એમ થયું કે બધું બરાબર છે ત્યારે એમાંથી એમણે સાત મિસ્ટેક કાઢી એ આજે હાજર નથી પણ એમનો પણ આભાર માનું છું એ મેનો તો આભાર માનવાની મારી ફરજ જ છે એટલે એ હું ફરજ બજાવી લઉં બરાબર સૌથી મોટો આભાર મારે તમારો માનવાનો છે કારણ કે મને હજી ખબર નથી પડતી હા કે એવી તમે હું મોટી ધાડ મારી દીધી કે તમે બધા ખુશ થઈ ગયા ભગવાન જાણે સારું થેન્ક યુ થેન્ક યુ થેન્ક યુ સો મચ સર સો વીલ નાવ યુ નો ગો ફોર ધ બુક રિલીઝ the book named shri bhagavad gita decoded by mr b n dastur
Now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Savan Godiawala, Vice President AMA, for the vote of thanks. Pankaj Chandra sir, Diviesh Bhai, Thompson, Dastur Sahib, the awardees today, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, of course, as Diviesh Bhai said, we feel like a teacher's day today, and truly in the spirit that we have the, the best teacher's award today, and Dastur Sahib, whom Dastur Sahib said, I was coming when we were uh, walking upstairs, he, he mentioned that all this, and uh, of course his stories are about that, but he actually was injured several ways in his lifespan. But I told him that, sir, we have grown up, you know, learning from you and reading from you. Whole life almost, so imagine 40 years and that's, uh, so thank you, sir. Absolutely deepest gratitude at AMA and so many of us that uh, are, are your students for such a long time. Of course, uh, the, to the awardees, uh, uh, Sumanji, uh, you mentioned in your message that be adaptable. That's what I think Pankaj Chandra sir was precisely saying that the, the role of transition of the society and uncertainty is going to be a constant now. The change is the constant. So that's that's something which would be so important. And such an important name. And Saib, the Bejar was too innovative. Karitame, you you some 2000 toys to teach. Nana we were uh, you know listening to this gnan sate gammat. So when you have gammat with you for the gnan, I think that's the best way of learning and absolute compliments. Again, Pankaj Chandra sir, you mentioned innovation in the process of teaching and the role of a teacher. And so important that that, that we are learning, um, or we are having the teachers like you. Of course, sir, absolutely insightful. As uh, Thompson, uh, Mr. Thompson mentioned that you said the purpose. The purpose, it's all about the purpose. And I think when we were sitting, you also say we have to motivate the students. Students should, I think you use the word, discover their way of thinking. Now, that's probably more than... Uh, giving that pure academics, I think if we can achieve that, in, then the society would be a different, so, and the transition certainly would happen, and a purpose as a, as a teacher that we would achieve. Dastur Sahib, of course, again and again, but you have opened so many minds as the parachutes for sure, all of us, so many and so many of them. That, and, 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 and they have become, hopefully, many of us have become effective parachutes also, which opened at the right time. And then we are, we are hopefully doing, doing something which you would have thought that we should be doing. Thank you so much. And once again, congratulations to you. A lot of honor that we have, Dastur sir, that you have been visiting us. You have been, you, you are, of course, aware, I thought just the beginning. And I would say this in as much strength that the, our president, sir, mentioned he's 90 years young. He's mentioned 90 years old. <laughs> but he is the man who does cross-country driving even today. Imagine. So, so thank you, uh, deepest gratitude again, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of AMA, uh, a special thanks to every one of you for being present in such an event, such an important event. Of course, thanks to the secretariat also, the, who are present. Thank you, thank you, sir. Hmm.